Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokalibra, and let's continue playing as a German Little Reich uh, in our Hearts of Iron 4 game. So right now, basically, at the very end of last episode, Italy made France capitulate. And obviously, the Italians will have a lot of the Allied territory, but in the end, I'll make sure that both me and Italy are fully rewarded for our actions. So right now, basically, we're just trying to get rid of all of the remnants that make up the remains of the Allied forces and then push the rest of the Belgians, British peoples, Dutch, even maybe even some French here out. That is our goal. As we crush the rest of the people here. And we have 320 factories, that's why I'm kind of okay with Italy getting a lot of the French territory at the moment. Also, I did upgrade my heavy ships and cruisers just by a little bit by adding radar on them, so Actually, you know what, right now, for this cruiser, let's go ahead and make it this better cruiser. For the battleships, if I do this, uh, 163 days of production, that's not really worth it, actually. Yeah, okay. This, is, this just looks very weird when you do that. You click on this, and it looks like you can add more lines, but you can't. Just let you know. Um, yeah. Definitely need more tanks. Definitely need more tanks. Uh, yep, tanks needed. That's okay for now. Anti-tank. Now, this episode is mostly going to be focused on just building the hell out, bombing the hell out of the enemies. We're going to need a lot of these bad boys. And we're going to need more aluminum and rubber. I don't mind getting more aluminum from you guys. But, we will have to build more and more refineries. So, I've got four in production. As well as some more dockyards. Uh, actually. We have some coverage here. Let's do this so we can see... From Holland, the English Channel, the North, East, nor the North Sea, as well as an Eastern North Sea. Let's do that, and let us keep going. Oh, god dang it, I keep forgetting about this. Uh, just take guns. Oops. And put them at the bottom. So if you have any extra spare factories that could be used, just throw them in here. It's fine with me. Awesome. I have sent the planes from Italy. We had planes down here, but I already moved them up to Normandy. So that we can begin bombing the hell out of the English Channel. This episode, it will be basically just bomb, 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 bomb. That's pretty much all it will be. Awesome. And of course, we will finish up the Benelux. Uh, let's see. Very good. If you hear some random loud beeps, that's just because uh, I am trying to record uh, my game normally. But the way I'm trying to keep an eye ooh, on the time is by using ooh, the French fleet is by using a actual stopwatch because uh, I broke my phone. But other than that, everything should be still the same. Go ahead, guys. Just take them all, the rest of them out. We are losing, actually, a lot of planes here. That's not good. Probably because we don't have enough... A mixture of not enough coverage. Oh, maybe we do have enough coverage. It's just that they have a lot of anti-air, and we could use more planes in the water. Ooh. English Channel. Yeah, good. Do that, because I'm sure there's a bunch of planes here. Or a bunch of convoys here. Uh, we could use our fleet, but I really don't want to do that. I don't want to lose my ships, because ships, unlike planes, are very hard to replace. Let's see, what can we not, what are we not getting? That's good. We could use more tungsten, of course. Aluminum oil, probably. No? No? Huh. Oh, I guess that thing went away. Hmm. Awesome, we keep killing a lot of convoys, which is pretty good. We do, of course, lose quite a few planes, but, you know, that's kind of to be expected. Let's see, naval bombers. An extra, about 500 still. That's good. It's very good. Let's clean everything else up here. Clean everything else up. Come on, take them out, take them out. And then I will probably put most of my army on the border with the Soviets. Yeah, I lost a plane. Oh, a page, the question, Yugoslavia? Um, something tells me, I think, I think we're okay with the Yugoslavians at the moment. Oh, let's see, another convoy sunk. Another, oh. That was a lot of losses. That's alright, you didn't need to see that. No, of course not. Alright, keep going. Just take out the rest of these allies here. Keep the pressure up. That's good. Ooh. So we lost five planes in exchange for three convoys. Ten planes for three convoys. Three planes for three convoys. Convoys. P planes lost. Convoys. Ooh, and a destroyer hull. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Go ahead, just... Put them out of the misery. And you can... I want to set my tanks here, but... I think we have enough infantry here anyways. Go ahead and go ham. 
And now the tanks will do a very interesting job. They'll come from Dunkirk. And we will slowly take all of the ports away from the Allies. Nice, another destroyer sunk. Great job, guys. But just try not to lose as many planes. Let's see. Italy is... Okay, this is really weird. They could took all this, but I have a little sector of Champagne. Very interesting, but I'm okay with that. Only because if I have this territory, that means I have to make sure I suppress the people so that they won't rise up and destroy my factories, which is honestly fine with me because we have all a bunch of extra territory that we could use right now. Uh, nice! Two more destroyers sunk. That's four more destroyers sunk. This just comes in handy. Another destroyer sunk, and then another destroyer sunk, and then another two destroyers sunk. Great job, guys. Are the tanks ready to go? Not really, because they definitely need some more supplies. But let's go ahead anyways. Uh, for you, don't do that. Are we, we're only using medium tanks here. I wanted to try out heavy tanks in this playthrough, actually. But the problem with heavy tanks is you get them basically so late. I mean, it's 1941 next year. Then you can start researching actually pretty decent heavy tanks. Gross tractors are just... They're old. They're not as useful as, you know, 1940, 1941 or 1939 medium tanks, so. Ah, gotta love that coffee. Good old Hawaiian coffee. Kona coffee. Alright. Um, da -da -dum. Very good. Ah, another destroyer. Great. Everything we can destroy in the water, especially destroyers, because they could really hurt our subs, is a great thing. Really great, despite all, all, all of our losses. Um, good, 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 good. Make sure that our Coast Guards, who definitely need more divisions to help out. It looks like the Italians are actually defending their provinces for the most part. So, I'm gonna go... Oops. My apologies about that. Didn't mean for that to happen. Like I said, I'm a, I apologize for uh, any loud beep because I don't have my stopwatch anymore. I'm actually using a real stopwatch instead of my phone, so... Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Uh, cool, anyways. I'm gonna put this down here so I keep it track of time. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Um, 36. Yeah, that actually did shock me a little bit. I'm like, oh my god, what the hell is that? Ah! Uh, but if you're not awake, you're definitely awake now. Uh, yes, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, we definitely need a few more volunteers. Can I? You're not my guys. I can't request divisions. None of you are my puppets, except for Croatia. Uh, and they have nothing. Bulgaria. You guys were... Oh, but actually... Ah, the Greeks are our puppets as well. Good. I'll take a couple divisions from them so we can throw them on here. Awesome. So that way, actually, we'll continue defending everything else that's around here. And then eventually I will help defend uh, Greece, the Greek lands as well. Yeah, Crete. I'm not too concerned about Crete. Good. Two more destroyers. Good. Good. Oh, a light cruiser this time. It's an early one, though, but that's not bad. Uh, let's see. So this is our main army, who have really very little to do. Tanks? Why don't you take the next stop here? You don't need to worry about this part, though. Did you get it? I think he, I think he did. Uh, since no one's here, just keep moving on up. Keep one port here, because I want to kind of bait the allies into continually supplying this area. Ooh. Plane in exchange for two destroyers. Thank you very much. How many ships does the UK use right now? Less than 300. That's better than what I saw before I actually started this. That's good. Nice. The French have quite a few as well. That's pretty much to be expected. Another destroyer sunk. Another two destroyers sunk. Another destroyer sunk. Eventually, we will kill so many destroyers. The only thing that we can literally bomb will be... Uh, heavier ships. Other, you know, heavy ships and stuff like, stuff like that. Alright, so you guys, you're all done. You did a great job. Oh, oh no. The Soviets took out Lithuania. God dang it. So I can't get Mimel. Mezer Schmitz. That's okay. That's good, actually. Let's get better naval bombers because actually those have even better range than the ones we are using now. Very good. Let's see. Any... Ooh, airplane ports. Good. Um, did Heavy fighters, that's good. More naval bombers, please. And do it in the English Channel because if they repair in the English Channel... Then that's that's pretty good for us. Ooh, Camp Grupa, awesome. Better infantry divisions. I will, might go with desperate defense eventually, just to get more population. But let's go with modern Blitzkrieg for now. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Ah, sneezed. Oh, we're almost done with this next heavy ship. That's great. Heavy fighters. Uh, I'm going to actually upgrade them because since we, we will definitely need the range on these guys as well as the engines. And they're extremely reliable if we do that. Or have even better engines to compete with regular fighters. Let's do that, yeah. Heavy fighter twos. We need so much aluminum, rubber, tungsten, and chromium. Nice. Very good. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. They are trying to attack us. But that's okay. It looks like the British kind of have left this area, which is fine with me. Ooh, we lost 10 planes there. That's not good. Uh, I'm going to continue, though, just putting as many planes in this type of area as possible, even though we are losing a couple planes every single time. Uh, someone... I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds like someone's mowing in my backyard. What the heck? Usually I mow in my backyard. But regardless, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Naval bombers. Yeah, we are starting to run out of naval bombers. Add in one, not ten, but one hundred more since... We are losing them quite quickly. Good. Convoys, convoys. Early cruiser holes. What I could do, though, what I'm thinking of right now, is, this cost me quite a bit, I'm repairing or refitting one of my ships. That'll come back in a little bit. Not bad, 77% of the way there. Ace pilot promoted. Very good. Very, very good. Um... Hmm, should I continue toying with these guys or should I not? I mean, we are seeking convoys, which is kind of nice. But I really want to kill off the enemy's ships. Man, we are losing a ton of planes. Jesus. So not good. Let's go ahead and just cut the rest of these guys off. Oops. There we go. And do something like that. Go and get uh, bread up. Uh, you don't need to do that. And we have synthetic... Oh, we have synthetic rubber, so we get more rubber for every synthetic refinery. That's really, really good, in my opinion. Um, what's next? We could do anti common turn pact. Let's reassert Eastern Claims. We'll get claims on basically everything we've already taken over. Ooh, but an alliance with Nationalist Spain. Huh. Actually, reassert Eastern Claims. This would be better if we could get an alliance with the Spanish. That actually would be very good. Even, even, if even if they say no, eventually they will join. Nice. Two more destroyers. Lost 11 planes. Send a convoy. Send another convoy. Lots and lots of convoys sunk. Alright, so even though we are losing a crap ton of planes, just the naval AA is just not as good as it used to er, Naval bombing attacks just haven't been as good since the update, which sucks. Uh, Japan poses a tripart attack? Sure. And a, a treaty with the Italians. Hell yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Actually, this ship is almost done. Four days, and then... Nice! So we guarantee... Oh, crap. We guarantee each other. So which means... Hopefully the Japanese won't go to war with the Americans to potentially pull them into a war against us. That would be very bad if they did. So we gotta make sure that we capitulate the English before everything goes topsy-turvy. Alright, good. No another heavy ship done. Replace it with an even better heavy ship. Five destroyers. Awesome. Two more destroyers. Awesome. Two more screens. Awesome. As, as well as another destroyer. Good. Let's see. Another two divisions. Great. Alright. You guys are on the front, which will obviously not be enough. This won't be enough, but that's fine. That's actually getting dangerously low. Uh, go ahead and take up Reda, if you can. Just keep attacking if you can. Take Breda, please. Go and come over here. Take that city. Take Belgium. Another two divisions. Great. Nope, he's got nothing of super interest to me. We have Breda, which actually helps our uh, supply situation. And Rotterdam is now the last city before they don't have access to a continental port. Which is good. How is our buildings? We could use more fuel. Continually more and more fuel. Great. Tanks doing okay. Send in some of those. Send in a few of these not super great infantry. 
Cut off the allies from everyone in here. Oh, the Hungarians decided to move in here. Okay. I'm okay with that. You're destroying the Belgian military, I suppose, but whatever. Alright, so here's my plan. To really bait out the enemy, you got to use your own ships. And since my ships are so bad, I'm not going to use them to bait the enemy out too much. Oh, nice. No, another light cruiser sunk. That's actually really good. I hate enemy ships so much. Especially the UK ships. But we're doing some damage. We've already sunk at least 50 enemy ships. That's really actually pretty good. Considering our losses. Good. Uh, you know what? Send some infantry this way as well. Make sure that they cannot come back from this. Where are my tanks? And something happened. Something happened. Oh, here we go. Oh, right. So the Free American Empire declared war on the United States. Which is, looks very disgusting, but this is because we've been boosting our ideology here in the United States for a very, very long time. Build the Pentagon. Let's see, they have up to 57 divisions. You have about the exact same number of divisions. Holy crap. They have a ton of ships. The regular Americans have about the same. This is a very interesting thing. I don't think I can actually really help the fascist Americans because they're building the Pentagon as well as FDR. That's really weird. They're building the building next to each other or something. Holy crap. Now, they want to join my faction. But I want to say no. First of all, if I let them join my faction, that means that the Americans will join the Allies. These The Free American Empire will join the Axis, or us, you know. But if they... If we let them join our side, that means Canada will come in from the north and just steamroll the Free American Empire. And I can't have that. I don't mind adding in the Free American Empire when this is all done and over. I mean, I would love to send them supplies, like, invite to faction, no, I'm not doing that. But I just want to make sure that they don't die because of joining my faction. Now, if the, Ameri if the Americans, or, the, you know, the normal United States, actually joins the Allies, then, uh, then that's all null and void, but whatever. Uh, I will start a lend lease, actually, because I can help them out. I don't want to give them fuel, but I don't mind. 2, 5, 4, 3. Give them, give them some old guns. 2, 5, 4, 7, 3. Give you, like, 200 support equipment. I'll give you 2,300 artillery. Not that great artillery, but still something. Yeah, you can have that. As long as the United States does not join the Allies, we're, we'll be okay. And actually, we got to make sure that we are actually producing a ton of naval bombers. God dang it, they joined the Allies. That's such a pain in the butt. Uh, I really don't want... Well, since they joined the Allies anyways, I was going to capitulate the UK. But that means now I have to take out the United States. But even if I let the Free American Empire join me, I can't help them. I mean, they're all the way in the United States. God dang it, this really screwed me up. I wanted to capitulate the, the UK before the Allies, or the United States, got involved. Well, it looks like that's been thrown out the window. Um, well, let's take a look. As long as Canada doesn't really get called into the war against Luxembourg, Belgium, legendary Romania. Hmm. Japan isn't doing so well either. Uh, I really don't want to add them in because I don't want them. Because there's nothing I can really do. I will I will ally with them. If. Before they die. Oh, the Finnish, the Finns reject Soviet demands. Alright, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, what I could have done earlier as a gamey tactic. What I could have done is I could have justified on the Finns back in the time where uh, the UK and France would guarantee independence so basically I would justify on the Finns I could justify on the Finns have the UK and the French guarantee them don't actually declare war on the Finns and have the Soviets declare war on Finland thereby having the UK and the free f or the French as well declare war on the Soviet Union uh, you know what at this point I might as well at put them in here that I mean whatever at that at this point it doesn't really matter um, maybe I could send some planes. Planes to help them out, maybe? Uh, heavy fighters, tactical bombers. Yeah, I'll just send you guys over. 
to help him out, I guess. Yeah, just remove him from there. Help out on the East Coast. Yeah, that'll probably be for the best. But my goal is still, I want to get rid of the British. I need to. And now, since America's divided, at least at this current moment, they might not be able to get as much oil. I mean, yes, the, the Americans, the normal Americans, still have uh, Texas for oil, but see how long that lasts. Also, by the way, it looks like my stopwatch has stopped. I'm not exactly sure how long this will go. So, just let you know. It'll stop whenever I guess I, I feel like it, I guess. Let's see. Heavy fighters, heavy fighters, tactical bombers. Yeah, send you guys as well to Michigan. Help them out here. Uh, looks like the United States is kind of coming in. Guys, take out Illinois. I mean, you already have Chicago, which is good, but this is messy. This is very, very messy. Let's see, not bad. Yeah, they look very even. Very, very even. This is amazing. Let's see. Veteran Fighter Initiative. Is it Naval Mission Efficiency? I have to do that, yes. Awesome. Two destroyers. Hopefully, actually, since this has happened, I really need to get rid of the Benelux. Um, maybe the UK will actually send supplies to the Americans, thereby leaving themselves kind of defenseless. I think that would be a great idea. For you guys right now, I just want you to go in slowly. Send the tanks in to go, uh, go in moderately. Carefully. Balanced. More like. Von Klug. Very good. Hans Guderian. Where are you at? Go ahead. Slowly cure the Benelux out. And it looks like the Finns are not doing very well. Well, it looks like the South is coming back. It's weird, like, the Midwest is part of the Free American Empire versus the South, which is part of the Democratic United States. Also sometimes known as the Union. Weird. Cool. Very cool. Alright, um... You guys can probably actually be sent up here, or up here. So you have to have that going on. Uh, who is actually winning, though? It looks like the United States might be winning just because they have the divisions immediately first on the border. But as long as Canada's not in the war, I mean, they got the rest of this empire still have divisions up here. They still have some divisions over here. Hopefully they can exploit some holes or something, but I can't send them any divisions. I'm literally across the continent, or across the ocean. Oh, nice. Very good. Very good. Another early cruiser hole. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, but the Americans have now sent ships over here. That is really not good, but we did sink a 1936 carrier hole. That's great. I really wish I knew what time it was. Oh well. Alright. Go ahead, take these four divisions out, and you know what? We're gonna bait these guys out. My tanks, these aren't tanks, these are subs. They're not that great. These guys, they're still not that great. What I want you to do is patrol this area. I want to see if you can maybe bait some enemies in. Be on low risk. Oh, actually, you can be upgraded as well. How long would that take? 55 days? Mm, that's a little long for me, in my opinion. Anything here? Anything here? No. That's good. That's good. Patrol? Or how about you just go, uh, convoy S. Convoy raiding. Good. And this is slowly becoming ours. Where are the tanks? You are busy. Yes, of course. Looks like. Where did all those enemy planes go? Let's see. Naval bombers, naval bombers. Your range isn't great. Hmm. And there goes Belgium. Very good. Better radar actually will help out quite a bit. Get some decryption, encryption, that type of good stuff. And the Canadians declared war on the Free American Empire. God dang it. I don't think that they'll be able to stand up, though. If anything, this was a good test to make sure that the Americans have lost a lot of their naval capabilities, which is good for us. Go ahead and push them in. Push them in. Which really means that our time to strike is basically now. Plus air support. We need more naval bombers. I know I'm putting up some heavy fighters. I just want to gauge. 
all gone. Great. You know what? Since we got so many divisions here, we might as well do Switzerland as well. Oh, I got a lot of political power. Holy crap. Uh, war bonds? Actually, that would be pretty nice. Let's do that. War propaganda against the Soviets. We don't really need that at the moment. Proclaim Greater German Reich. Region wide. Yes, please. Alliance with Spain actually could help very much if they actually say yes. Planes, I hope you're doing okay ish here. Uh, tactical bombers, you don't need to do that right now. That's good, that's good. What are we building? Refineries, good. Radar, good. Holland, make sure Holland's number one. Awesome. Oh, did we actually sink some convoys? Nice. Now, here's kind of a test. Give me more heavy fighters. Because I want to make sure when I try this, it might ruin our sea fleet. But, it's a test we got to do. Um, naval bombers, we're getting more and more. That's good. And I do apologize if this goes longer than anticipated. Or even shorter than normal. I'm good. Go there. I'm going to use my subs as a decoy. Um, engage at low risk. Naval invasion support. North Sea. I'm okay with that. Soviets and the Finns have signed a white peace. At least the Finns are not communists. That's good. Yeah, the Free American Empire, I just, there's nothing I could do. I mean, help, help bomb, but other than that, there really ain't much. Because right now I am oh, much more focused on everything else here. Let's see, 200. I mean, you guys can come over here and help out in the Midwest, but... Are right, you guys... There you go. Oh, where they get? They got bombed by naval bombers. That's what I was worried about. All right, so. Oh boy. You know what? We'll probably take out Switzerland first. Continue bombing the heck out of everyone we see. But as well, we are going to begin the invasion process of invading the UK. Let's make sure that we actually maybe eventually get marines. I mean, I might not even use these guys to invade the UK, but let's go ahead and make some anyways. Um, da -da -dum, dum. Marines, marines. Because even though we might not use them now, we'll, we'll probably use these in the future. Engineering companies, definitely. Recon companies, definitely. That's pretty good. Train at least two at a time. Coast, medium, 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 medium. That's good. Put you up here. And anything here? No. All right, so I really don't want to send in my tanks, but I really don't see anyone else that I could really use to help invade the UK. Let's see. We can set it up as if we are going to invade the UK. Let's see, not all five. Send two at a time. From here. And we definitely want to get around this area. Two going directly over there. One here, and then one over here. And as well, it's, everyone's just going to come from the same port. I want this port. That is a absolute must. That's four divisions in total. Ah, uh, just come here too. Why not? Screw it. Let's see. Lost a couple planes. They have a carrier there. Converted battleship carrier. Whoa, there it goes. Converted battleship full carrier. Awesome. Well, if the Free American Empire can take out the left side of Canada and then just kind of hold its line, then everything will be okay. But it look, really looks like just a giant freaking mess. I mean, my goodness. Build the Pentagon. 70, up to 27 to 75 divisions. 53. These guys definitely have the more numerical side on there. Hunger... Uh, Hungarian bomber competition. The Hungarian Air Force is currently holding trials for a new medium bomber. Uh, according to our air attache, the news model is poised to win. A formal request from the Hungarian government is expected shortly. Uh, let's see. Representatives from the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns selling a most modern equipment to a foreign country. Should we permit them to go through with the sale? There are allies. I see. Why not? Oh, good. An alliance with Spain. They probably said no, but that's okay. Oh, wait. No. No. They actually might join us. I can invite them to our faction. Great. Uh, before we actually do anything with the Soviets, let's ask if we can get, reassert our eastern claims. Spain. They will accept, and... Awesome. 
great, 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 great. And that actually adds their navy, their military. Too. So that's actually very good. I'm sorry, Free American Empire, but there's really nothing I can do. How many planes do you guys have? Mm, better. They've, we've definitely sunk a little less than a hundred ships so far. So I'm I'm calling that a win. Definitely calling that a win. Uh, pull in another hundred naval bombers and do the North Sea as well. We'll need, we definitely will have to have as many planes up here as possible. Good. All right. Well, it looks like the subs are doing okay. Ooh, you need a repair. And actually, you know what? I'm going to switch these around. You. Not do this. You'll do this over here. You will do convoy protection over here. But our main fleet, which looks okay. It doesn't look great, but doesn't. But looks okay. We'll do naval invasion support because... It'll help bomb the area as we begin to invade. Now, let's see. Can we actually invade? We have a few days left. We do have a few days left before we can do that. Gibraltar has fallen. That's great. We're still waiting for this. That's fine. Oh, we're not making any infantry equipment. That's not probably good. Radar, air bases, the like thereof is very good. Yeah, they're not bombing us at all. We can go to war with Switzerland. Uh, you know what, let's do that. I think we might be able to take them out fast enough to the point where we can do this and then call it an episode first, and then invade the UK next time. It is 1941, so keep that in mind. Awesome, 1936 destroyer hull. I want to say the UK has actually sent most of its navy, including some of the American navy, to here, to the proper United States, but we'll see what happens. This is a year that I want to invade the UK. We have to do it. You know, go extreme. I want to make sure that even though we might take some serious losses, the Swiss don't have that much of a military. They're all militia units, for, as far as I know. Quite a few losses, quite a few losses, but not compared to the Allies, which is pretty good. Uh, the Free American Empire has lost 142, but the United States has lost 35. Wow, that's not very good at all. Holy crap. Awesome. Yep, just let them attack us, let them attack us. Good, good, good. The Spanish have definitely started an attack in Africa, which is great, great, great. And come on, Switzerland, we got this, we got this. I know we're mostly using infantry, but, you know, this is good divisions. They're good divisions. And it's a good experience for us before we invade the Soviet Union. It will hopefully give us Memel back. Awesome. Switzerland's getting smaller and smaller. Smaller, 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 smaller. Awesome. Both sides. And do we have any extra planes? Almost. Another hundred of you guys. Actually, I'm going to wait for this. Yeah, we're definitely not doing well in Midwest here. I don't think the Free American Empire is going to make it, guys. I'm sorry. I did my best. There's just there's not much you can really do about this. I can even get my planes here. Holy cow. Uh, do that and just come down to the Midwest if you can. That is quite unfortunate. Ooh. Nice. A destroyer as well as three convoys. Almost there. We've almost got it, and then then we will end the episode. Wow, I got a lot of a lot of political power. I love it. Construction. Uh, I really want my own resources, but we got a lot of rubber. Wow, we actually have it, quite a bit of rubber. That's actually really good. Thank you, rubber factories. Uh, go ahead and um, just have everyone attack, because if you can see right now, they they are running out of supplies. I mean, we're running probably out of infantry equipment, maybe. Oh, uh, we got. Fairly good stockpile. Fairly good. And actually, I'm going to need these back up here. If I can't get close air support, that's okay. Don't really, I'm not really using close air support that much. Uh, knock this down to two. Put you underneath. And... Support equipment's okay. As long as we're making... God dang it. That's okay. Keep making some guns. We don't need a ton of guns. Just keep making more guns. Come on. Come on now. Convoy's good. Another early cruiser hull. A heavy cruiser. Ooh. Very good. Oh, and our guys are trying to invade. Italy's trying to invade Oran. Great. Free American Empire. I'm sorry. You're, you were just the distraction for us. 1936 hull. 
Oh, we sunk 12 destroyers. The United Mexican States joined the Allies. God dang it, you pieces of garbage. That's just a slap in the face, but whatever. Whatever. That's why we went to war with the Swiss instead to make us feel good. And there goes the Swiss. Oh, right then. Well, with that in mind, this has been an interesting episode. We had a coup happen in the United States where the fascist side is going to get destroyed, but then the Mexicans also have joined in. But we did take out Switzerland, making us much stronger, as well as... Oh, wait, I want this territory, Italy. What the heck? Uh, we will begin the invasion of the UK in the next episode. Hopefully it will go swimmingly. And since we took out the Swiss this episode with this army, we can use these guys as backup frontline infantry division. With that in mind, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry if this went on a little bit too long or a little too short. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we do our invasion. Thanks for watching.